you're up early. Fancy a cup of tea? Hello, Kelly. Anybody there? What? You look like you should go back to bed. I couldn't sleep. How have you been up? Dunno. Maybe you should go and see the doctor. He'll give you something. I don't need pills. I just need people to leave me alone. Oh, Kelly, love. I know it's been hard for you since you... No. No, you don't. You don't know anything. Have some breakfast. I'm not hungry. You've got to eat. I'll have something later. Tell you what, why don't we all go to the pictures tonight? Yeah, great. Come see a 15. You'll get me in, won't you, Mum? Donna. Go on, Mum. PG films are for babies. What about you, Kelly? No, thanks. Oh, come on. It'll help take your mind off things. Morning. Right, love. I was just saying it'd be nice if we went to the pictures tonight. Fancy it, Scott? I don't know. I might be seeing somebody. I thought it'd be nice if we all went together, but your sister's playing hard to get. Come on, Kelly. Mum's right. It'd do us good. I don't want to. You can always cuddle up to me if you get scared. Get off me! Are right, you all right? And just cover yourself up. You think every girl wants to go, but you well, I don't. Just put some clothes on. Calm down, Kelly. It's only your brother. Yeah, it's not as if you haven't seen it all before. <laughs> Eric, what are you doing? I'd really appreciate it if you could get dressed in your flat. You're putting customers off their food. I'm sorry, Cathy. I haven't got time to listen to your complaints. My alarm didn't go off. The bulb's broken in the bathroom. I'm already late for a very important client. Sorry, no matter. No! No, no of course not. <laughs> How do I look? Fantastic. Great. You look a picture, Eric Palmer. Oh, thank you, Betty. Oh, Eric, wait. No. What? Ah, uh, you've got a, a thread on your jacket. And you don't want to give off the wrong impression. <clears throat> Not with an important client. No. There you go. Thank you. Knock him dead, Eric. We'll be thinking of you. <laughs> Have you all gone to clean <laughs> Nothing. Say milk. Just a dash, please. Do you think Mr. Pollard will be much longer? No idea. Listen, you make yourself at home. I'm sure Eric will be here in a minute. Mandy, has a Sir Charles Winterton arrived yet? He's in there. I'm just making him a coffee. Damn. Eric, what have you done? I forgot to set the alarm. No, I didn't mean that. I meant... Manny, sorry. I haven't got time for chit-chat. Sir Charles Winterton could be a very important and lucrative new client. Yeah, but Eric... Ah, 
Ah, Sir Charles. So pleased to meet you at long last. I can't apologise enough for keeping you waiting. Sorry. Eggs. Bread. Orange juice. Got a nice breakfast plan. Keeping the larger stock was never my strong point. Well, you've got plenty there now. Enough for two. What's that supposed to mean? Been entertaining. Excuse me? Cooking breakfast for your new man friend. I really don't think that's any of your business. Well, it's not as though it isn't common knowledge that you and Chris Tate have become intimate. That's as may be. But it doesn't mean to say I want to talk to you about it. Of course, I can see why he fell for you. Oh, really? Yes. Watching you evict all those people out of their homes and farms, it must have been a real turn on. How dare you? You found your way to that man's heart. Right. If you're just going to insult me, I'll take my trade elsewhere. Good day. But I've already rung him up. Some people are so touchy. Well, it's been fascinating meeting you. Yeah, you're not going already, are you? We haven't even started. <laughs> no. Well, um, I'd better be on my way. I can tell you're busy. I, no, I, I, that was nothing important. I, I just got held up unavoidably, but that, that's all out of the way now. Finito. I'm all yours for the rest of the morning. The thing is, um, I've got another appointment. But you haven't even discussed my uh, proposal? I'll give you a ring um, sometime. Goodbye. Strange man. You seem quite normal on the phone. What's wrong with you? Nothing. I'm just excited. <laughs> What? About next week. What are you talking about? Stella's party. It's going to be right blast. Ah, yes. Uh, I'm afraid you might have picked up the wrong end of the stick as far as that's concerned. Um, what? There's certainly going to be drinks for local dignitaries, but I don't think Home Farm's going to be opening its doors for the likes of Dingles on this occasion. No, Eric, you were there. Stella is inviting everyone, Dingles included. <laughs> You sure this is a good idea? Well, we've got to get breakfast from somewhere. I don't know about you, I've worked up a real appetite. Chris, shh. What? You know perfectly well what. I've already had to run the gauntlet with Viv Windsor making digs about us. I think having breakfast together in Cathy's diner might just be pushing our luck. Look, stop worrying. Cathy is fine about it. Made for each other, if you ask me. Hmm. Oh, I'm sorry, love. That was very insensitive of me. Look, you go back in the kitchen and I'll say to them. No, it was OK, Betty. Not really a problem. Probably better if I deal with it myself. Good morning. Hi. What can I get you? Uh, coffee, croissant, whatever. Me too. OK, coming right up. <sighs> Look, Laura, there's... No need to hide behind your menu. <clears throat> I don't know I mean, what you I'm and talking. Chris, it's fine, really. I think Chris is just trying to wind us both up. Me? Thanks, Cathy. I, I hope we can still be friends. Yeah, so do I. Told you there was no problem? Listen, just so that we can reassure Laura that we're all completely grown up about this, why don't you come over for dinner tonight? What, home farm? No, to Laura's. I mean, that's OK, isn't it? Uh, of course, yeah. Lovely. About 8 o'clock? OK. Look forward to it. Hello, Eric. Uh, you're looking bright and breezy. I'm not in the mood for pleasantries, thank you, Tricia. Sorry. Whiskey? Uh, no, mineral water. Having a rather trying day. Really? Mm. I don't know what's up with everybody. My customers are looking at me as if I've got leprosy or something. Not surprised. We must stuck like that. There's nothing wrong with my moustache. If you say so. My moustache lends me an air of gravitas and distinction. Unlike the ridiculous handlebar monstrosity that's gracing you are up with it. Suit yourself. But if you ask me, it looks right daft. I'll be fair, I think it's a, I think it's a fashion statement. Yeah. Take a notice, Eric. I think it's rather fetching. Excuse me. <laughs> I wish I had a camera. <laughs> Is it true about Paula? We will see. One, two, two three. three. All right. Who's done this? 
Well, at least it gives a certain air of gravitas and distinction. You'll be laughing the other side of your faces when I get to the bottom of this! <laughs> Marlon's off his head. I never thought he'd actually oh, do it. Oh, that boy is hot for you, Lynn. I, I better go see him. Oh, you're not going to let him off the hook just yet, are you? Oh, come on. I think he's proved his point. <laughs> Lynn, can't you see? If he do this, he'd do anything. Just one more challenge, please. Yeah, I'll tell him. As soon as he gets in. Bye. Who was that? Lorraine. Who? The girl you're going out with in Leeds tonight. Oh, well, right. I, uh, took her number down, just in case. I said you'd ring her when you get in. Actually, I was thinking, if you're not going out with Mum and Donna this evening, maybe I could keep you company. And what about Lorraine? Oh, well, she's just a girl I met in Leeds, don't you? Charming. Well, what a night in. You and me without everybody else on our back. Get off. What's wrong? You know what's wrong. No, maybe I don't. Maybe I don't think there is anything wrong, Kelly. Maybe I think that you and me just need to talk about it. There's nothing to talk about. I'm staying in and you're going to leave with your girlfriend. All right. Got the evening off. Thought we could try that new Thai restaurant in Ottawa. What? I'm sorry, Marlon. I'm still not sure. Wait a minute, Lynn. You said, you said if I pink took Pollard's tash, we were back on. I know, but it's not going to be that easy. Easy? Pollard would have had me locked up if he'd caught me in his flat dripping cotch and all over his upper lip. Yeah, but we weren't really putting yourself on the line, were you? What, 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 what's that supposed to mean? Well, making fun of Pollard's one thing. But would you let people laugh at you in the same way? No chance. Sorry, Marlon. Mm. Just, just stop. What? Just tell me what it is you want me to do. Well, if you really want to prove yourself oh, to me, God. then you'll take all your clothes off. What, now? Well, then I'm trying to be serious. I'm finding that very hard to believe. At the home farm party next week. You're jesting me. In front of everybody. Lynn. The full Monty. <laughs> No. Scott's got a date in Leeds, haven't you, Scott? Oh, yeah. Her name's Lorraine. Ooh. What is it with this boy? They just can't resist him, can they? Look, I'm not sure. I think I might just stay with Kelly. Don't leave you on your own, do I? I won't be on my own. Boys coming round. And, uh, anyway, you can't stand this Lorraine girl up, can you? It's just such a hassle getting to Leeds, you know? Well, um, Scott can have the car, can't you, Viv? Yeah. Run us into Hotton. We'll catch a cab back. I don't know. Actually, you've always got some personal stuff you wanted to talk to me about. You don't want to be sitting here like a gooseberry. Yeah, sister's right. Get out there and have a good time. And you don't like Roy anyway. He'll only wind you up. Come on, Mum. We're going to miss the film. Yeah, are you going to drive us or what? Scott! Yeah. Yeah, all right. Come on. Right, let's go. Pasta, lovely. It's your speciality, isn't it, Laura? Please don't. Cathy runs a catering establishment. I can't expect to compete on culinary expertise. It's only a diner, Laura. No one's competing, are they? No. No, no of course not. Uh, Cathy, please do start. Let's have a toast. Good idea. Two friends. 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 Cheers. Chris, so, what did you make? <laughs> Sorry, you first. No, no, you, please. Chris and I were looking at holiday brochures. Oh, really? But we couldn't decide, could we? Well, I'm not sure I had the time. I think we should really go for it. Two weeks in the Caribbean. Mm, Paris. Just as romantic. And it's a lot closer. Chris, what are you like? I suppose I haven't had a proper holiday in... Oh, can you remember the last time I had a holiday? He really deserves a break, don't you think? Perhaps you'd like to take a look at the brochures. What a great idea. You could help us decide. Yeah, I'd love that.
Oh, what is this stuff? I've wasted half the day trying to get it out. You look like some dubious children's entertainer. Oh, don't worry, Eric. It'll wash out in a couple of weeks. I'll have to shave it off. Oh, calm down, Eric. Look, tomorrow I'll go into Hotton and I'll get some peroxide or something. That'll get the colour out, no problem. If it's no trouble. No, because I've got to make some arrangements for the party anyway. Ah. Uh, Stella, I've been meaning to uh, ask you about that. Oh, yeah? It, it's still not too late. What are you talking about? Let me go to the pub. Tell everyone there's a change of plan about the reception at home farm. I'll take the blame. Then we can start again and sort out a more suitable guest list. No! Think about what you're doing, please. I mean, what sort of impression would Butch Dingle make on your society friends and leads, eh? What society friends? Uh, well, I presume you'll be inviting your husband's sole banking associates? Oh, no. Uh... No, I just want to forget them. No, this is my new home now, and these are my new neighbours. And I can't think of any better way of getting to know everyone. <laughs> oh, Kelly should have seen his face. It really is pink as his tass. I nearly wet myself, I'm telling you. <laughs> you gal. Yeah, it's very funny. I haven't listened to a word I've said. Oh, I'm sorry, Roy. I've got a lot on my mind. I want to talk about it. Nah, it's just the usual. You know what this family's like. I don't know what to do by now. Sometimes, I don't know why you put up with us. Hi. What are you doing here? I just said you were in Lage with a bird. She didn't show. Don't believe it, Scott. Windsor's been stood up. You must be losing the old touch, mate. <sighs> She's a bit of a tart anyway. Not really my type, if you know what I mean. Yeah, sit down, drown your sorrows. Join the rest of us mortals. I'm all right, thanks. <sighs> this is brilliant. First Bollard, then you. Can't wait to tell lads about this one. Very funny. Thanks, Eric. Yes, Belise. I've been thinking. Oh, yeah. I was looking at your CV and I noticed you've got catering experience. Yeah, Mumbley's lunchbox. It were a burger van. Well, there's no need to be apologetic about it. All experience is good experience. I won't be apologetic. Good. Then you'll like my proposal. Go on. Wool snacks. You are? An all new comprehensive range of bar snacks for the wool pack, otherwise known as wool snacks. And I want you to be in charge of them. Thanks. But no thanks. I'll give you complete control over the kitchen. Trisha and I do all the running and fetching. You won't even have to set foot out here. But I don't want to be stuck in the kitchen. Half the fun at jobs chatting to punters. We'll give it a trial run, shall we? Next week? If I have to. Once you're surrounded by all that food, you'll love it. You'll be in your element. I'm really looking forward to your party. Should be a right old knees up. Yeah, well, that's a general idea. Ah, uh, not exactly <laughs> knees up. After all, when Home Farm opens its doors to the community, it's a, it's an important event. Oh, Eric, don't be such a grouch. Well, I'm sure you'll be able to keep a stiff upper lip. Hey, Eric, whatever happens. Do you know her face? Is ever so familiar? Who's this? A woman from Home Farm. She really reminds me of someone. I just can't think who. We've got eight Sam. You sure you won't stay yeah, longer? Up, I can get some more cans. Oh, sorry, Carl, I've got a start. I've got a start. Nothing wrong with my brain, mate. Cheers for a great night. No, oh, Scott, if, um, if I meet any adult birds, shall I give them your number? Yes, yeah. See you later, Carl. I thought you'd never go. Why'd you come back? I told you, she stood me up. I'm not stupid, Scott. What? You're only gone an hour and a half. You couldn't have got to Leeds and back in that time. Yeah, you're right. I didn't go. I couldn't. Well, thank you very much. You've ruined my evening. I'm going to bed. I wanted to see you. So you've seen me? You see me all the time? No, I mean. You can't keep running away from this, Kelly. We need to talk about it. I don't want to. Get out of my way. The thing is, I couldn't stand the thought of you and Roy 
you know. There's nothing going on between me and Roy. And if there was, it wouldn't be any of your business. What about you? You didn't really want me seeing this Lorraine bird either, did you? Why should I even care? Can you look me in the eye and tell me you wouldn't have been jealous if I'd gone out of her? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. If I'd kissed her. If I'd gone to bed with I her. I don't want to hear this. Oh, come on, Kelly. Look me in the eye and tell me I'm wrong. You see, at, as new owner of Home Farm, you have certain responsibilities. And you're the sort of uh, unofficial figurehead for the village. And as such, one has to maintain a dignified distance from the locals. One has to maintain. Eric, I'm not the Queen. <laughs> All I'm recommending is that you behave with a little dignity. For pity's sake, Eric, nobody cares about that stuff anymore. And anyway, I'm. Damned if I'm going to stay stuck up here on my own, that lady muck. Well, you wouldn't be on your own. For a start, you'd have me. <laughs> and uh, I could advise you on the proper behaviour for a woman in your position. I could introduce you to a more suitable circle of acquaintances. Eric, shut up. Stella! Shush! I am not stupid. And you don't own me. And if you don't think I'm good enough to live somewhere like this and run my own affairs, then you can go away and leave me alone. Now, Stella, please, I didn't... In fact, I've had enough of you for one night. You're giving me a headache. Oh, you're throwing me out, are you? Your coat. <laughs> Stella, please. I'll ring you. Stella. Maybe. 